and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video we're going to show how we can activate our pointer by pressing up on the thumbstick and then calling the select action when we release our thumbstick. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. Thanks to all the existing patrons and those patrons who are at the relevant level for a video shout out, you'll see your name scroll up on the screen. Thanks for your support. To start with, we're going to get another Tilia package called the Combined Actions Package. And we can do that by going to Window and then to Tilia and Package Importer. And then we want to find the Input Combined Actions Package and click Add to add that to our project. Then we can close the Package Importer down. So we want to create a new action of when we push our thumbstick up, that considers it to be a true Boolean value. And when we release our thumbstick, we want it to go back to the central point and that to be considered a false Boolean value. So to do that, all we need to do is add one of these new combined actions. If we go to our hierarchy and right click, go down to Tilia, then to Prefabs, then to Input and to Combined Actions. And we've got one called Angle Range to Boolean, which is the one we're going to use. So let's add that to the scene. And I'm just going to rename this so it makes a little bit more sense. I'm just going to call it right pointer action and I'm going to move it down to the bottom so I can see it easier. Now if we look at the angle range to boolean facade we can see there's a couple of settings we need to set up. The first one is the angle range of what's considered true. So we want this to be roughly up on the thumbstick and the way the thumbstick works or the angle range works is it's a 360 degree circle up on the thumbstick would be zero down would be 180, to the right would be 90, and to the left would be minus 90. So it doesn't go round full 360, it goes 180 to the right and then a minus 180 to the left. So if we want it to be straight up, we could put zero in, but that's going to give us a very, very specific up we have to push, which isn't going to be too easy for a user to do. So we're going to give ourselves a little bit of a threshold either side. So we're going to say roughly up. So we're going to say an angle range of minus 25 to 25. So I'm just going to change these to minus 25 and 25. And then the next thing we need to do is define where this axis information is coming from to determine the angle. So we can get this information from our generic input mappings. Expand the generic input mappings and then the right control input actions. And then look in the thumbstick and then in the thumbstick axis. We have a horizontal and vertical, and they just map straight over to the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. So drag and drop horizontal and drag and drop vertical. The next is we need to define the dead zone of when we release the thumbstick, at what point we're no longer trying to calculate the angle. So once the thumbstick is roughly back into the center, we no longer want to be calculating that angle and we want to just consider it to be false. I'm just going to drop this down to 0.65 just so it's a little bit easy for the user to use. So all of those dead zones now are minus 0.65 to 0.65 and that's it. We've set up our angle range to boolean facade. The next thing we need to do is just go and look at the output actions we get from that. So I'm just going to collapse this and then if we expand this we see we've got one in here called output actions. If I expand that again there are two actions within there. Both of these are Boolean actions. We can see it contains a Boolean action on both. The deactivate outside of angle range. Boolean action will work by when we go into our angle range, we will get a true. So if we push up and we're roughly between minus 25 and 25 on that thumbstick circle, it will be true. If we then pushed it all the way to the left or all the way to the right, we'd be outside of that range and therefore it would be considered false. The next action is the deactivate within axis dead zone, which is the one we're going to use. And what that does is allows us to push the thumbstick all the way up to the top. Once we get into that minus 25 and 25 range, it will be considered true. But now if we rotated that all the way around to the left or all the way around to the right, it would still be considered true. It only goes back to being false when we fall back within that dead zone. So all we need to do now is set up our pointer to use that action. So if we go to our object pointers curved, we can see we've already got an activation action and a selection action on. We can change these now to that deactivate within axis dead zone. So grab, drag and drop that into both the activation action and into the selection action. And now what we need to do is change the selection method 
from select on activate to select on deactivate. And what this is doing is previously we had it when we press the thumbstick down, it would call the pointer selection action on press. What we're actually doing now is we're saying, make sure you select when that action goes back to being false or is deactivated. So when our thumbstick returns back into that dead zone position, it will be false. And that is what's gonna call the selection action on our pointer. So that's it. We've set it all up. Let's jump into the scene and see that working. So we're now in the scene. And if I press up on my thumbstick on my right controller, we can see the pointer activate. And then when I release the thumbstick and it goes back to the center, we can see it deactivates, cause a selection and then teleports us. And if I was to press down on the thumbstick, nothing will happen. If I press left or right, nothing happens. But as soon as I press up, the pointer comes on. And that's it. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please consider subscribing to the channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. And please consider becoming a VRTK patron as that really helps fund these videos. Thanks for watching and bye for now.